Good morning. It is finally Friday. A different one for the vlog because I'm going somewhere for a full 24 hours and I will try to document as much of it as I possibly can. I've never been to Jeju and I've wanted to go for a couple years now. I have a few friends that have been and I'm just trying to pack, go buy some snacks at Walmart and then head there and the time will start from when I get my wristband and then we'll be there for a full 24. Special Friday for me because today is my birthday. So I want to thank you in advance for the well wishes. I wanna thank the man upstairs for giving me another birthday. I'm packing skincare, I'm packing hair care, a water bottle, washcloths, a bathing suit. I don't know if I should bring a towel because if I'm gonna do my hair, I don't wanna use their towel. Sweat rag, a brush, sneakers, but I'm not sure if they want me to wear sneakers. I need to get some new socks, toothbrush, toothpaste, bullet journal essentials, yeah. My Beats, iPad, phone, chargers, camera charger, cause this battery's dying. Lots of things are happening, so let's go ahead and get, let's get everything out of here because it's time to go. Good morning, officially. Um, <laughs> it is now 7.45, so more than likely I will be inside ready to go by 8 a.m. I'm pretty amped up about it because it's something that I've wanted to do. So there are a few cars out here, not as many as I thought would be here for it being a Friday morning. I went to Walmart and I got some snacks. Here are my snacks. I only got dill pickle chips and Starburst, but this is the one that is all the reds and pinks and all that. And then I got socks. I will record on my phone from now on simply because my camera battery has to get some juice. And I'm, I'm excited. I told my parents, I was like, yeah, I'm going to the spa today. Oh, excuse me. And I said, yeah, I'm going to be there all day. They said, okay. I said, no, 24 hours. What? Yeah. So Jeju is a 24-hour well-being center. They have nine saunas, and they all have different names. Hopefully, I can enter all of them. They have three jacuzzi tubs, the body shampoo, body massages, foot reflexology, junior size swimming pool, sleep rooms in there, restaurant. There's a nail salon, which <laughs> does not have good reviews on Yelp, so I will not be entertaining that. Fitness center, which seems to be cardio based. There is also a smoking room. Head inside. It looks like I'm going to a sleepover at this point. Head to the sky, I'll shoot stars in the air for you, baby, you know I do. I'm in the bathroom. Let me look over here. Fitness room in the bathroom. Not 100% certain, but these are individual bathrooms. So it's one person occupancy for women and one for men. So if you need privacy or whatever, I think this is one of those places because people were coming in here but not working out. They were just going to the bathroom. So I guess, yeah. It's an update. I just did 3.21 miles on the recumbent bike level three. Nothing too crazy because I don't have any shoes on. So like, I don't feel comfortable being on a treadmill or anything with no shoes. And I'm wearing socks. Like everybody else is barefoot. It's like two or three people with socks on. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm comfortable with my socks on. Oh, you just can't have flip flops, shoes. Um, there was something else on the list, I think, but I can have socks on. After I leave the fitness room, I'm gonna go into my first sauna of the day and then eat after that because I'm so hungry. Okay, later. Let me ride, I'll chew it. The cold and the dark. Is from bringing the warmth to you, yeah. 
So tell me when you fall. I'm currently in the charcoal sauna and I want to be in here for like 20 minutes before I grab some food. So the charcoal is on the quarter way up from the floor and then it goes all the way up on the ceiling. It's an archway ceiling, kind of. So yeah, I'm in here. I know you can barely see me, but I'm in here. <laughs> so it feels really good. Um, it's really not that hot in here. It's not even as hot as the LA Fitness sauna and this one, but I'm sweating. So I know that the charcoal is really real. I am in the baked clay sauna. Again, it's not hot in here and lukewarm to me, but I'm gonna be in here for like 20 minutes and then I'm going to take some time to do some bullet journaling and um yeah i'm pretty relaxed today let me show you what it looks like This is my pillow. Um, they have little cubby holes where you can grab a pillow and a blanket. So yeah, this is the one I picked. I don't really I think I'm gonna be using it, but just in case. Okay, I look crazy. I spent a full 24 hours in a spa. Okay, so I just left. It's 8.04. I thought I went in and got checked in at 7.56, but I guess that's the time that I actually went inside. Yeah, parts that I could not film the way I wanted to. The Jules sauna, I wanted to get some footage of that, but there were too many people at that point. The amount of people that create a ridiculous amount of noise, knowing good and well you're in a spa, a place of calm and relaxation is ridiculous. Like, ah, ooh. Can you be quiet? Can you be quiet? And it all happened after 12 p.m. on Friday. That's when the noise started coming in. So I enjoyed coming in at the time that I did on Friday because it was very quiet, very low key. So my suggestion is coming Thursday night into Friday morning. And I'm saying that because the foot reflexology and the body shampoo, which is a body scrub, that um, goes on from 9 a.m. to 2 a.m. on Friday. So I don't know what the times are on Thursday. I'm not sure if it's the same times, but she was telling me it's 9 to 2 
for when I was there. So I opted for one service instead of both because it would have been too much for me to get the foot reflexology and then I would be behind for my scrub. So I opted for this scrub. Wow, wow, okay, okay. So here's what happens. You take a, a shower first, then you, you sit in a hot tub for, it's really supposed to be for 30 minutes, but I don't like being pruny. So I gave it a good 20 and then I just was out of there until my number was closer to the top and then I went back in for like five minutes. You do that, then you a room with two other people. So it's like three to five people in each bathhouse section area thing. Obviously, I can't film this part because beyond these doors, everyone is naked. Everyone's naked. You can't even have your phone in there. And some people really had their phones. And I was wondering why. Why, why do you want your phone in here? You're laying on a massage bed with a vinyl type covering. It's plastic. And they first douse you in warm to hot water I'm wearing well your face is covered with a, a towel but they're wearing mittens like brillo pad mittens sandpaper mittens on both hands and they're just going at it on your legs they're going at it on your arms they hit the belly the underarms back buttocks crevices kneecaps she went over my kneecaps quite a bit i'm concerned that happened and i don't know if my skin is just that sensitive like i don't like massages because i feel like they all hurt oh so with this i was grinding my teeth because for some reason my calves felt like when i first get my nails done you see these are my nails i need to fill but hear me out when these nails are fresh it's like scratching myself repeatedly with these and that's how it was feeling on my calves. It felt like a new set of nails just scratching me. <laughs> Hurt, yeah. I didn't get the facial or anything because um, I just, I couldn't, no. I just didn't want to put myself through that. And you can also buy t-shirts in there. I wanted to get one of the scrubs. I don't see myself hurting my, myself in the shower so I might get the um the African bath washcloth towel thing which is similar I don't know if it hurts as much but I might get that instead because I do I do like the outcome and they scrub you down with soap um and they go back over you with the mittens and it was really an experience I'm so sorry that I look like a wreck so I wanted to say that it was very much so needed a lot of me time wow this girl is coming to work and would you believe I was here before she came to work yesterday yeah I gotta go but I'm not gonna end the vlog here I want to talk to you when I get home and I actually look like something so that this is not all you remember me by update I am back from where I will not name in this vlog because it will be in the weekly vlog. I wanted to just let you know a few things that I thought of on my way home from the spa today. So I realized that the area that I thought was a perfect spot for sleeping, they have caught on to it and they are now telling people, hey, you can't sleep here, it's a fire hazard. Fine. So I had to sleep in the common area, which is, it's okay. I didn't stay there long because I felt like I was being stared at. But it's only because people behind me were still awake and I don't, I didn't feel comfortable. That was one thing. And then at the restaurant, I don't think I talked about this either. The food, um, the pricing is anywhere between $6 to the highest thing being about 13 to 15 dollars and they have fruit smoothies which are natural fruits it's not puree it's not 
something in a box. It is actual fruit that they're putting in a blender. The other thing I noticed was that with the face masks that they give you, if you opt for the body scrub shampoo, um, some people get the regular body shampoo and that's it. Some people get it with the mask of their choice and they actually make the mask themselves. I saw a refrigerator with cucumbers, like filled with cucumbers. So that's good to know that it's pretty natural. If I think of anything else, I'll come back. But I think that's it. So it's safe to say thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. I don't wanna wait for nobody. I just wanna dance with you, mommy.